We have a 1255 Case IH planner. We're connecting to a 235 Magnum tracker. We'll talk about connecting the hydraulic hoses up to the tractor. We've got the uh, frame circuit here, as marked by the red, connect, uh, the red connectors here. Um, that identifies our frame lift, fold, and marker circuit. We've uh, also marked our hoses here. R for retract, E for extend. We can match our icons up here. We've got a cylinder extending and retracting. So once again after we wiped our hoses off we insert just like that. Okay now we have the bulk fill couplers. They are identified as yellow. Um, this planter is equipped with a PTO pump and so we're just going to have red and yellow on this planter. We have a uh, 16 row front fold um, you're going to have different configurations depending on how your planter is equipped. You may have uh, green couplers, which would be used for vacuum, and you may even have blue uh, for, for vac number two. Green for vac one, blue for vac two. Once again, we've plugged our bulk fill hoses in. Um, one thing that we might note is that on the uh, bulk fill vac fan circuits, we'll have two different size hoses. The smaller is the supply, we've marked that with retract, and the larger is extend, we've marked that with uh, E, E and R, um, and once again, the reason we want to do this is so that we, when we move our remote forward, we can easily pop that baby into float to protect our motors. All right, let's talk about the most important hydraulic line that you can hook up. This is the uh, case drain line. Uh, this line is, uh, depending on your configuration, um, you're going to have uh, this line connected to your vac fan motors or in this case uh, we're, we're using it for our bulk fill. This protects the motor on your bulk fill fan and so you want to make sure you get this baby plugged in. I've seen instances where perhaps maybe uh, someone has a, a different color tractor. No big deal. Just make sure that you have the right coupler that plugs into that tractor. There have been some instances where if you didn't feel that hard click, maybe you pushed it in and you thought it was engaged. Um, there have been instances where it wasn't connected properly and uh, we had some big problems and, uh, and blew that motor right away. All right, let's look at our nine pin implement connector. This is an ISO breakaway connector. So if a guy uh, accidentally forgets to disconnect, uh, it's designed to, to uh, break away and uh, the, the harness would fall away from the tractor without uh, substantial damage. This is a, a new style connector, it's ISO and so it's pretty standard. This one is just a, a push connector, there's no twisting collar and she just pops right in place like that. Alright, here's our 7 pin uh, lighting connector, we're going to plug that in the back of this tractor here. This is also important. It does more than just your lights if you're equipped with the PTO pump. This also powers your cooling fan for the hydraulic side of your uh, PTO system. And so if for any reason uh, you have a bad ground or you don't have power uh, coming through this connector, your fan is not going to kick on when the temperature comes up. All right, now let's talk about how to properly route the hoses on a PTO equipped planter. I'm going to take the pump, place it over the hitch, slider on, and we might even use some bungee cords to minimize movement of the hoses chafing on the hitch. We're going to try to reduce hose damage. We've also got a hose angle to consider. Generally what works best for us is 90 degrees and maybe slightly aft. We're going to have this hitch lowered and then we're going to raise it all the way up and ensure that we don't have any binding on the PTO hoses. Alright, now we have the planter and transport position and we still have no abrasion uh, concerns. We don't, we're not going to have any chafing or hose damage. So we've ensured that uh, we've got the hoses routed properly.